Hey guys, welcome. For those of you who are just joining us, we are doing a team power hour tonight. I'm super excited. This will be our first one that we've done together as a team. Um, power hours are really critical for your business. It's really important when things aren't going right or we aren't producing, we have to take a really very honest look at ourselves and figure out why. Where are we lacking? What am I not doing right? What are, where am I not being consistent in my life or my business? Um, so when we start this business, most of us start with an entrepreneurial, most do not start with an entrepreneurial mindset, um, but more of an employee mindset, as most of us has worked for somebody else up to this point as an employee. So we're kind of used to being like told what to do and we have a job description. So I want you to think of power hour as your job description. We need to hold ourselves accountable. This is a daily action item if you want to be successful. If you want to have a successful business, this is needed. Oftentimes we spend way too much time, I think we can all admit, on one post or one person or one potential. It takes a lot of small baby steps repetitively and consistently to build and be successful. You guys have been given all the tools you need in your toolbox to run a successful business. We have all of our training in eSuite. You guys have in lots of several team pages um, from successful leaders with tips and training. Um, you got access to YouTube with all kinds of videos. It works, gives you the basic steps to success, which is what we do to get all the way to the top of the company. Just repeat that month after month after month. Now you're not gonna be perfect right away. It takes action, you just have to start. Action breeds confidence and it builds momentum. You can learn and learn and learn and learn, but if we don't apply any of that, then none of the knowledge is even relevant. Um, none of that knowledge was even worth spending time learning if you're not taking action. So please, please do your power hour every single day. If it has to be done before your family wakes up or taking your lunch hour back at work, if that means spending three 20 minute increments, if that means doing power half hour instead of full hour, you must make it a part of your daily routine. If you're not, and you're asking why this business isn't working for you, um, you have to remember you've gotta be doing this every single day and give it a solid three to six months of consistent dedication and you will be floored by the momentum in your business. This business rewards consistency and longevity. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and I have just a few activities and that they're all gonna be timed. So while we're doing it, I'm gonna set the timer on my phone and it'll go from either five minutes or 10 minutes and I'll tell you before the activity what how long we're doing it for and what the activity is. In the um, file that I'm going to create in Rapaholics for everybody to go and access at any time with different business building activities to do during your power hours, there will be not only these, but a list of other ones that you can incorporate into your power hour. And you can change it up every day. Um, but there's several things that we've talked to you guys about that you need to do every single day, no matter what. So while you're on Zoom, you don't have to get off of Zoom to do this. You can incorporate these things. So if you're on the telephone on Zoom, then you can access your Facebook and everything else. Um, if you've got the app open, you should still be able to do that. I'm using my computer for Zoom, and then I'll be able to use my phone or my computer to run these things. So most of it's gonna be through Facebook or Instagram. You may also be sending text messages, um, et cetera. So, all right, are you guys ready? Okay, cool, I'm really excited about this. So our first task is going to be personal development. And by the way, you guys, let me just say something. You want to ideally, if you can, start your power hour in the morning because your brain is fresh, you just woke up, you don't have all the other stresses of the day going on in your mind, and you have a clear, intentional focus at that time. So personal development is an awesome thing to start every single morning with. So personal development could mean YouTubing and listening to Grant Cardone, Tony Robbins, any of those amazing motivational speakers that help build in, um, are kind of like life coaches. Uh, it could mean reading your devotional if you're a Christian person or prayer or praise, things like that. So whatever personal development means to you, then that's what we're going to do right now for 10 minutes. Okay, guys, so I'm going to set the timer. And somebody calls me right as. <laughs> okay. So personal development for 10 minutes. Ready, set, go.
Okay, 10 minutes is up. Next power hour thing we are going to do is for five minutes, we're gonna friend people on Facebook and Instagram. So stop what you're doing. No more personal development. If you need to go back after we're done with our Zoom, then you can continue that. But we're gonna, for five minutes, friend as many people as we can on Facebook and or Instagram. So um, go ahead and do that. Ready, set, go.
Okay, time's up. Hopefully you guys got some good friend requests in there. Um, okay, next business building activity for 10 minutes, we're going to create our 3-3 three, three for tomorrow in Buffer. Buffer is an app, hopefully you guys have all downloaded it, but it's an app that will automatically schedule your posts for Facebook for tomorrow or any time in the future. Everybody should be using it. It makes your life so much easier, especially if you're working a job and you're trying to incorporate it works into your busy life. So Buffer's a free app. Go ahead and download that on your phone if you don't already have it. Take the time to do that. And then the 3-3 three, three rule, if you're not familiar, is to make three product posts and three lifestyle or opportunity posts. So we're going to go ahead and schedule those out for tomorrow. And I given us 10 minutes of time on this so that you guys can be really thoughtful in your posts versus just copying somebody else's post. So think about what you want to share tomorrow um, and be intentional in your posts. And remember, we're not selling a product. We're selling a feeling. Anybody can sell a product and there's 100,000 distributors out there worldwide. We don't want to just make another product post. We want to sell a feeling and why. Make somebody feel the reason why they need the product that you're offering. So, all right, guys, 10 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and start the timer.
Okay, time's up. Hopefully you guys got your buffer set for tomorrow. Don't forget to be sure to add some motivational quotes and inspiring things to um, your daily Facebook and, and um, social media posts. That always helps. Okay, so next business building activity is we are going to go to your friends who are on Facebook right now. Now, this is getting out of my comfort zone, so it probably will yours as well. Go to your friends who are on Facebook right now and active and send them a private message. And you might say something like, oh, I'm so glad I caught you online. And basically, you're going to strike up, strike up a conversation with them that really has nothing to do with it works, but your goal is to do your best to bring it works into the conversation somehow. So for five minutes, just start striking up conversations with people who are online and try and bring it works into the combo. A lot of times you'll find when you are messaging people, they will actually bring it works up to you. So maybe they'll do that, maybe they won't, and maybe it'll be your job to do that. So, all right, five minutes.
All right, on to our next activity. Um, so we only have two more minutes before our corporate call starts and we definitely don't wanna miss out on that. So maybe you can do this next activity while you're listening to your corporate call, to our corporate call, because it's gonna be a great one with our first Black Diamond, Cami Dempsey, which Black Diamond, if you're not aware, they make over $100,000 a month, you guys. So we definitely wanna get tips from the top from her. I'm super excited for that. But this is your last challenge, and like I said, hopefully you can do it while you're listening in on that call. If you need call details, they're always posted on Pam Souder's Facebook page. You need to be following her, S-O-W-D-E-R is her last name, Pam Souder. She is our chief networking officer. She actually founded the business um, and founded the wraps. But anyway, I put those details on Wrapaholic so you can access that there. But so your last challenge is message five friends and ask if they will host a party. But I have um, a script for you and I'll put it into the chat section here of our Zoom. It says, um, all right, so you have 30 minutes and your message says, hey girl, my leader just started a 30 minute contest and challenged me to book one party in the next 30 minutes. Ah, can you help me out? <laughs> it can be an online party, Zoom, which is a video like FaceTime, which we all are familiar with that, or an in-person party. What do you say? Can you help me? So I'm going to copy and paste this into the chat right now, and I will copy and paste this script into Rapaholics under the Zoom post for tonight so you guys can easily access that. Does anybody have any questions about anything? Remember, you can edit this script however you feel um, would be best suited for you so it sounds like it's authentic and coming from you and not just a script. Um, but if you guys have any questions, reach out to me. Otherwise, we are done for tonight and you wanna make sure to hop onto that corporate call. All right, it looks like that's it. All right, guys, have a great night. Congratulations, you completed your first power hour. Remember, it's important to continue doing these consistently every single day, whether you need to break it up or not um, into 20 minute time increments or do 30 minutes here, 30 minutes there. Take this time during your lunch break at work to do this. It's great to start your day off with this and feel accomplished. Starting your day off with a business building activity like this will make you feel great. Um, it'll set the tone for your day and you will feel super productive knowing that you did something that counts and that matters. So congratulations. Again, you'll be able to access all kinds of notes about this. I've also recorded this for you guys. You'll be able to access all the information in a file I'm getting ready to create on Rapaholics. I'll talk to you guys later and don't forget your 30 minute challenge. Have a great night guys.